Well, I'll take care of it later. Hello, all. Welcome to an edition of King Joe's. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. I will take care of it. Just let it go. Yeah, there's my grandson. Uh, I just came back from vacation. Uh, I picked some stuff up when I was on vacation. Uh, but then I have all the stuff I ordered from eBay. So I'm just going to do an unboxing and haul video at the same time. Uh, let me take care of this first. For my 45s, I got another Whoa, that's cool. 45 spindle. Hey, okay, well, since, hold on, let, let, let the, Keegan, I don't want that in the picture all the time. Now, since I got that, I also got this, another one, a pink one. I got a pink uh, one. So now I have five spindles, but this one, uh, when I bought it, came with a couple of 45s. Uh, from yeah. RSO Records, the BGs, yeah. Nights on Broadway, oh. and Edge of the Universe. Okay. Uh, from oh. ABC Records, the floaters, Whoa, everything happens for a reason, and float on. Ouch. From uh, Paramount <laughs> Records. Okay, stop it. Co Commander Cody, The Lost Planet Airman, My Home in My Hand, Ow. and Hot Rod Lincoln. Okay, stop it. Get out of the picture. You keep going in it. Big Tree Records, Lobo. Hope you're proud of my girl. And... How can I tell her? Um, Melanie, some uh, Melanie, some say I got devil and brand new key and Cimarron rings and like children. I just bought it to get the case. So hopefully now, I'm hoping that these two cases will be enough to finish the 45s off so I can get them all put away, but I really doubt it. Um, next, I might as well open this box since it's closest. Ow! I hit up uh, a video game retro store while I was down in Wildwood. Wildwood? Oh, this is Wildwood? for Funko. I never saw Wildwood. Some strange looking army men. What? Army men? Yeah, it's a bat. I don't know. Oh! I don't even know what they're for, but I'll put them here. Uh, yeah, cool. The fun codes I got are Captain America from hey. Infinity War. Please, Keegan. Okay. Please. I actually bought the lot to get one. La, 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 but, la, la. Um, I got Mega Man. Mega Man. Oh, yeah, I remember that guy. He's Mega uh, Man. Root. Root, I number numbered him. You have him upstairs, right? No, I don't have him upstairs. No, one of those. And I bought it for bottom. this. What's that? Medium Invader from Space Invaders. Oh, Medium Invader from Space. La, 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 okay, la, this can get put over here. Oh, this can get put in the bag. Garbage. Now, uh, let's see. This is probably comic, so let me do the comic. <laughs> How do I get past? Okay. You know, I finished uh, Secret Origins Volume 2. Volume Save 2? That. And uh, I need one issue for Volume 3. What? And I need a few issues for Volume 4. Well, in this one, I got Papa. for Volume 4. No, I will take care of it. I got issue number 1. I play with it? Secret Origin of Superman. In the 52. Oh. So, so this is what? Superman, Robin, and Supergirl. 
Then in this one, I got Secret Origins number three, which is Green Lantern, Batwoman, and Red Robin. So, there's two comic books. Garbage. Uh, let's see what's in this one. Oh, these are the stickers for your car. I got a, a little Tykes car that was my uh, godson's. And my daughter ended up getting it. And now Lexi's, uh, Keegan's going to have it, Keegan and Gianna. But from 20 years of use, all the stickers fell out. So I got replacement stickers to put on. You want these guys? No, I want the bat. You want the bat? Yeah. You can have the bat. You want this alien looking dude? Um, no, I want the armor, I guess. Here. You can have all these guys. These are all yours. Take them upstairs and put them. Take them upstairs and put them with your toys. Now let's see what's in this box. Okay, since I was on a pop kick. I got from the Fantastic Four, the thing. I don't really want to get all of them. I only want to get certain guys I think I, I like. Like, I thought that the thing looked cool. And I got Herbie. Save that. And then, uh,. From Iron Maiden, Peace of Mind, Funko Pop, and this should be what, Killers? No, Number of the Beast. This gets put over there, save that. Uh, this is probably another one. It is. And this is Killers. I actually have, I bought all four of them. So I have the whole set of Iron Man and Funko Pops. But this I'll save too. That's, let's see what this is. This came. Emotional. These, all, these both came from Australia. So. Hope they're in one piece. Is there two of them in here? I hope there's two of them in here. Oh, this is my flash ball. The Flash. Now, this has got to get. This has got to get put up with my other glasses. I still need for 
all my glass sets, I still need uh, four, no, yeah, four of the 16 ounce Walter Lance glasses, Space Mouse, Wally Walrus, Cuddles, and uh, Andy Pandy. I need Spider Woman, Spider Man, and the Hulk to finish out the 78 Marvel glasses. I need Green Lantern for the Super Power glass set. Last. I have three packages, but this is probably another glass. This is coming from Australia, so. I need a Care Bears glass set. Uh, I, I ordered uh, Ghostbusters 2, but it's already a, a good month and a half overdue, so I doubt I'll get it. It's been in Chicago. I bought it off of a, a guy from Canada, and it's been showing in Chicago now for over a month. So that's probably gone bye-bye. So I actually got refunded for it already on eBay. Because uh, I sent the thing in, they're saying the track information's not good, so I'm like, okay, I'd rather have the glass secretary treat if I got it at a decent price. And this one's another Nutella glass, and it is Aquaman. When I finish this set, I'll do a video. Uh, okay, I might as well save these two things I'm gonna to try to put it by by what it is because I did uh, I did a stop at the dollar store and uh, a thrift shop and I got some blu-rays inherent vice for a buck Jack Hunter and the lost treasure of Ugant whatever the hell it is but for a buck Entourage, the movie on blue for a buck. I actually had it on DVD. I'm probably gonna get rid of that. But then I got all these all these seasons. Rescue Me season five. Still shrink wrap, not used. Uh, Rescue Me the fourth season. Rescue Me the third season. This was a funny. This was a really funny show. I liked it. The second season. And the first season. I got five seasons for 13 bucks. Then I got Entourage season two, which I think I had, um, but I'm not, I wasn't sure. Because I know I need a couple seasons of Entourage. Uh, I got Pretty Little Liars the second season. I have season two and five. And then I got uh, three seasons of The Simpsons. I got uh, the eighth season, the fourth season, and the fifth season. Because I think I have season one, two, and three. So if that's the case, I got the first five. Uh, let me open this up. Uh, I think I got refunded for this, so I'm going to have to notify the guy on uh, eBay so eBay can refund him. Because this thing somehow got lost in shipment, too. Because this, actually, uh, now that I got this, because I think this came in the mail today. This took, just to go two states away, took six weeks. So, let's see. Oh, he mailed in this big tool for... That's why I thought the size was wrong. Uh, it's uh, a print of Vampirilla. Signed by Michael Resign. I actually liked it. Let's see if you guys can get a better look at it. But there you go, I got that. So that'll go upstairs. I have to put that in a frame. This will get saved because I always can use the thing. Now, uh, from Wish, I ordered this. A Rorschach mask. 
so I'm not going to ah, put it on. See how it looks. I don't think this is going to be a good idea. I should wear this mask out in public for this COVID. Put a hat on. Uh, yeah. What did I bend when I'm yeah, I bent my glasses? God damn it. Well, put that back there. Okay, so you saw the Rorschach mask. Then I'll go upstairs with all my other like miscellaneous comic book related stuff. Too bad it couldn't like change, you know, design like Warshacks or not. Uh, video games. I stopped at, like I said, a retro video game store. So I'll go from oldest to newest. Uh, I picked up three games for 20 bucks there. Uh, PlayStation, Disney Story Studios, Mulan. PlayStation 2 Risk, Global Domination. And Xbox One Titanfall. Now, I already know what this is. Uh, I'll just show what games I picked up. Uh, these are my wife thought this game would be fun. Um, it was on clearance for five bucks, so my wife said, "Oh, go go get it. We'll, we'll try it one day." I'm like, ah, "I don't want to play that." It's called Pie Face. Uh, if you look in the back. You use whipped cream, and the loser gets whipped cream pie in the face. So, hey, for five bucks, that's what you got, pie face. Then, this was on clearance for seven dollars. And, you know me, me and comic book related stuff, gotta go. I got Wakanda Forever. So, that's that. Now, let me just, yeah, probably by the, the thing you hear, you know what this is. It's a board game of some kind. Trying to save the bubble wrap. Anything that can be reused, recycled. I try using it. Uh, and today I won nine comic books on eBay, and I actually have to call and talk to the guy because the guy will not combine shipping on them. I won them for a dollar. Well, 99, 95 cents and 99 cents a piece. And the guy never wrote down that he doesn't combine shipping on them. So I figured, okay, I'd get them and you know, maybe 12 bucks to ship my comic books. He wants five dollars a book to ship. So we got forty-five dollars to ship, nine dollar, you know, nine dollars worth of comic books. I'm not buying them. Uh, I can't stand people like that that don't put it on eBay. In fact, I'm actually gonna call up eBay tomorrow and open up a case against the guy. Because uh he never had it, you know, anywhere on his Auction that he does not do that. The eBay policy is you buy multiple items with the guy, the guy is supposed to. But, 
I, I've, I'm trying to finish off certain sets, and the one thing that I was happy about from winning from this guy, he had the five issues I needed to finish off the 70s Battlestar Galactica one. And like I said, I won them for a dollar a book. So that would have been another series I had finished off and I wouldn't have to worry about. All I do is when I get in the thing with, I just take the facts, eBay, and boom, that's it. Uh, this game, Screaming Eagles, Jet Fighter Combat Game, Roar into Combat. Uh, this is a Milton Bradley game from when? Let's see here. 1987. My side, I was like, oh, I've never seen that before. And I, I want to start doing video. I want to start. I actually want to start making the videos. I started doing some of the, the comic book run videos, like full series. Uh, I did a few of them and threw them in my my comic book, you know, comic book run video or whatever the, the, the sets or whatever. Uh, I did some some of the fun, like two of my Funko Pop sets were finished. I did those. Um, I really want to start doing start getting these done and over with. But I'm I. I the attic's pretty well almost finished. I still have the, the one side to do posters. Take them down. Um, down here, I start, like I said, I started straightening up. But I have to rip this bar apart. Uh, I want to get the back wall done finished. Uh, but as usual, I spend this stuff. I spend on this stuff hobby. What I should do is stop for a while and get what I got to do done. But it's like, I see the stuff and I'm like, oh, it's cheaper than one of those around here. I gotta get it. Because here's the bad thing: um, my the sets, the the movie sets. When I was there, I could have got almost a complete run of the Mentalist uh, Jag, and I didn't buy them. So today, uh, before we, we before we left the area, I went back to the place. They were all gone. And I was like, I wanted to kick myself in the topa uh, because my mom always had the same: if you see it there buy it don't think it's going to be there tomorrow because somebody's going to come along especially if it's a collectible now the, the place had an optimus prime for 50 dollars, but he wasn't complete so i was like nope they had a megatron for 75 dollars. i was like eh, that's a little bit too blood and they were all out of the box they had no boxes uh the video game store had a hiss tank with the driver and i was like i didn't want to buy it the day the day i was there the first time i went because my wife yells at me when I spend like a lot of money on one item. Like the, she didn't yell at me for the movies. At three dollars a, 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 a you know a series, that's that cheap. I can't eat. Let's put it this way: for my own entertainment pleasure, I cannot make a copy or burn it or whatever you want to do it for that kind of money. So it's like I rather buy, I've been buying a lot of my movies used now anymore. Very seldom do I buy when they first come out because I know how much they cost to make, and it's. All the stuff is, you know, I worked for a record company slash, you know, DVD manufacturer for five years. So, I was in charge of their shipping. So, I know how much the stuff costs to make and what they get sold for at the companies. So, it's like, you know, no. But, um, that does it for this edition of King Joe's. Uh, I thank you for, you know, letting me share my love, my passion, my collecting with you people. Even though some of them, uh, lately I've had a lot of trolls on. But, you know, it doesn't phase me. It gives me something to do when they think I just report them, log them, you know, for harassment, you know, for being the scumbags they are. So, you know, I, I look at it this way. The people who have the same passion as me, I love to talk about the hobby. You know, it was funny because my wife hates it when I, I, find, I find somebody, like when I go out and I find somebody. I'll end up talking to people for hours about everything. Uh, the one time I was at the the one uh, where was I? <laughs> the guy the guy complimented me on my t shirt. I ended up having a fifteen to twenty minute conversation with the guy. Uh, my wife hates it. My wife's like, wow. And I'm like, hey, it works out good for me. Uh, but thank you guys as always. King Joe out. <laughs>